What you guys got another video on how to get a legit Microsoft Office for 100% free. That's what we're going to be taking a look at today. Now, we all know that Microsoft Office has always been a paid product and it's always been very expensive. As you can see right here, these are the latest prices of the Microsoft 365 Family Edition and Personal Edition, which is quite a lot of money. Now, you can use the online version of these for free and you can sign up and basically you'll be able to use them for free. But this is not the desktop version where you install it on your PC. Now, the only way I know of how to do this in a legit way and by downloading it and installing it on your PC is this method, which has been around for quite a while. But Microsoft have done their best to try to bury uh, this particular version because they don't want people to use it. It's a pretty old version and it's not the full blown version. It's called Office uh, 2010 Starter Edition. So Microsoft have ended support for this and they have done their best to try to bury it so people don't keep using it because it just gives you basic uh, use of an Office suite, i.e. Microsoft Excel, and it also gives you Microsoft Word. Now, of course, these are end of life, which means you will not receive any more updates for this particular edition. But it does run within a virtual environment, meaning it operates in a separate space on your system. So it creates a virtual drive and it uses the drive letter Q to manage updates and security effectively. This allows you to use basic Word and Excel functions. And the way Microsoft will do this, obviously, is by adding some limited ad support on it so you are going to get that on this particular version but that being said it is still free and you can still download it on sites like TechSpot where they offer you a download link so the Microsoft Office Starter 2010 download is right there I'll try and leave a link for that in the video description if you want to use it now like I said the reason why it's a little bit more secure is because it is running inside that virtual environment which does give you some sort of a protection there because it's like a virtual container that it's running. So it does make it a little bit more safer than, say, some of the older versions of Microsoft. Unfortunately, you do not get the full-blown version. So you're going to need to download that version, and you're also going to need to download this file here. I'll leave a link for that in the video description as well, which is an update file, which you'll need to run on the system for it to be able to install and run. You're also going to have to run this in compatibility mode on Windows 11 to make this run perfectly fine. And I'll show you how to do that. It's very simple and easy to do. So I've got the file here and I've got the update file right here. So what you need to do is right click on the actual file you've downloaded from TechSpot, which is your Office 2010 starter and go to properties here and you'll see compatibility mode. You'll need to run this in Windows 7 mode right here. I click apply and click OK, and that part is now done. So all we need to do now is double click on the file and say yes here, and this will go ahead and install it onto our computer. Again, yes, it's 2010, but it's running in a virtual environment and it should be OK to use. Again, it's up to you whether you want to risk running something like this on your computer, again, because it's from 2010. But some people just want some basic uh, Word and Excel. So let's go ahead and install the update. Now you will need to extract this, otherwise it's not going to install. So just right click on it and extract it. And you can extract it wherever you like here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right here. So let's click on extract and we can just say extract to say, for instance, let's go to the desktop and extract there. There we go. So now we've got that. Let me go ahead and we're going to click on this file here and get it installed. So click open, and this will start to install the update here. This is off of Microsoft's website, so don't worry, it is safe to install. And this will go ahead and put all the files that is needed to get this working on the system. Once this is done, you should have Office uh, 2010 Starter installed on your PC. You will need to restart the PC, so let's quickly go ahead and do that right here. And once this is done, you should be back at the desktop and you should be able to run Word and also uh, Excel, which is probably enough for a lot of people. 
and let's go ahead and go to the application section and we should see our office suite has been installed so let's go ahead and click on word here and open up the word program and there we go that's now opening up lovely click ok here and there we go you've got a fully functional word program to do some of your word documents and this is probably going to be enough for a lot of people and we'll just quickly save that and click yes and now we're done and you get some good functionality in this version there's quite a few things that you can change up probably enough for most people and there you go you now have an official office suite installed on your pc and you don't need to activate it because it will run perfectly fine forever and ever on your computer and it's running perfectly fine on windows 11 as you can see right here let's quickly open up excel and we'll take a quick look at excel here and we'll see whether that's running on here okay and there it is right there so let's click on it and see whether it opens up and there you go you've got excel spreadsheets right there now of course there's plenty of other options available out there that are free and you'll be receiving updates you can see the little advert in the bottom right hand corner there from microsoft it's not that intrusive and it's good enough for this particular version so if you're into uh, having a microsoft office suite that has word and excel then maybe uh, take a look at something like this this is the only way you're going to be able to legitimately get a office suite for free from microsoft they created this in 2010 and of course they've tried their best to bury it to stop people from using it because they want you to use the subscription based uh, software now which is office 365 which costs an absolute extortionate amounts of money and of course a lot of people just want some functionality like word and excel so there is some other options available let me just quickly have a look inside the rest of this application to see what else we have inside here so there is a couple of areas here Obviously, you're not going to get any more updates from this particular uh, application, but there is this thing right here. Let me just open this up here and we'll go ahead and see if it downloads and updates. And it does, as you can see right there. So some of the functionality is still working on this and it's working perfectly fine. But don't expect to receive any more security updates and stuff for this particular software from Microsoft because obviously it's end of life and they are not going to be offering any more updates for it so what is the other alternatives well there is other alternatives available like LibreOffice and we'll quickly take a look at that right now just in case you don't know what LibreOffice is now LibreOffice is free to use you can use the full office suite right here all you need to do is head over to LibreOffice and download their uh, suite here and we can then go ahead and download it and install it onto our PC works on Windows 10 and Windows 11 as you can see and it's fully functional and it will work just like Microsoft Office so if you're one of these people that do want to still receive security updates and have updated software and also have a fully functional Office suite then LibreOffice might be the option for you now this is probably the one that I would recommend people use because obviously it's still in support and it's still receiving updates whereas Office 2010 Starter Edition is not receiving any more security updates and again it is end of life. Yes it's in a virtual environment that does sort of give you somewhat some protection but again uh, this is a full-fledged Office suite which is obviously 100% free as well. Another thing I want to point out is it goes to show you Microsoft's mindset because when they released Microsoft Office 2010 Starter Edition, it was ad-based. And that just goes to show you that they were even thinking about ad-supported software or pushing ads to their users through software way back in 2010. So it's nothing new that Microsoft are doing all of this ads now. People have only just cottoned on to uh, this particular thing where microsoft are uh, pushing ads but it's nothing new they've been doing it since 2010 with their office 2010 starter edition so that goes to show you uh, it's always been around and they have no plans in changing the way they push their software onto you so let's take a quick look at libreoffice now it's installed and of course i'm running this on a virtual machine so it's a little bit uh slow to install it'd be a lot quicker when you're installing it on a real pc and this is because i'm on a virtual machine myself 
So you can see here, this is LibreOffice right here. Fully functional software. You've got Word. You'll have uh, Excel spreadsheets on here and a bunch of other stuff. It's fully loaded with all of the features you would get with Microsoft Office. And again, this version is free. There are other options out there. I've made videos on explaining what some free options are available. If you want to see an updated video on that, then let me know in the comments section down below. Let me know in the comments section whether you are using already Microsoft Office 2010 Start Edition already. I'll be interested to read those comments. If you do want to use it, then that's basically how you can download it and install it on your computer and get it working on your PC. And it does run in that virtual environment, like I've already said. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and your names are rolling up on the screen right now. I just want to also say that we do have a brand new Discord server. I deleted the old one and now we do have a new one. There's not many people on there. So if you do want to pop on for a chat, the link is in the video description. Bye for now. Thank you.